to Mood Shift. Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new playthrough. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. As, re as requested by Keyblade Edgemaster. Whew. Uh, this is one I am not completely familiar with. Though i have it's not like I've never heard of it. Uh, I used to subscribe to Official PlayStation Magazine back in the day. And I remember getting it. There was a demo for this game in there. And I remember thinking, it's fine. You know, uh, just never, it just never got me, caught me beyond that point. But, uh, maybe I missed something really cool about it. Uh, we'll see what it has in store. It's been remastered, uh, and put onto the Switch eShop courtesy of THQ Nordic. And, uh, you know, curious how it's all going to turn out. Uh, Smash Man, thank you very much for the 100 bit saying Frog Champ for this stream uh, does coin coffer from the Mario games count. Mario Wiki listed as an amphibian. You know, those green things that spit out coins when you jump on them? Eh, count it. Also, you said you play the full ass version of Friday Night Funkin' when it came. Does that mean by any chance you'll play the rest of Delta Rune when it comes available after you're done with 1 and 2? Yeah, probably. Can't leave it at, uh, gone. Yeah, the game, I was gonna ask about the game sound, um, just to be sure. We'll take it down just another uh, decibel and see if that fixes it. So, yeah. That's all of my knowledge is. I just, I played a little demo that I barely remember. And uh, we'll see what it's all like. Um, Keyblade. Don't forget. Smash Matt, you won't let me forget. <laughs> I don't need to worry about forgetting. Keyblade says, for my 372nd game I remember playing is Little Inferno for the Wii U. If you want to burn stuff in the game, in a game, play this. I remember hearing about that and I just never got, kind of saw the point. Alright, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Let's see what we're in for. Check options first. Uh, yeah, let's see if there's some... some okay. Okay, don't see any option for, um, oh wow, continue without saving, that's interesting. Don't see options for subtitles, hopefully they're in here. We'll, uh, see what happens. Subs? What about subs, Soulcaster? Oh yeah, subtitles, yeah, I didn't see it. I think one last look at the last, uh, yeah, it's just control, so. Yep. We'll find out what we're in for. My favorite credits theme in gaming? Oh, probably Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts has an amazing one. It just, like, makes me happy. Alright, let's see what we're in for. Can they make the various levels of an Egyptian-themed platformer work? The time I feared has arrived. The darkness prophesied will soon descend upon us, and we need to be prepared. I've chosen you both because you are already proven. Uh, you have already proven you are my most worthy apprentices. Apprentices. Hi, monkey. The mission that you are about to embark on will be a test of your strength and abilities. Prepare yourselves, for the path ahead will be highly dangerous. I cannot guarantee safe passage, or that you will, will return alive. Well, thanks. But you must go of your own choosing. Now is the time to stand down, if you wish. Suck it, boy, bird boy. <laughs> I see. Since you have both accepted the task, I will transpa transport us to Uruk, the land of darkness. There you will need to find the Blade of Osiris, an old and powerful sword protected by the demons of Uruk. They'll just throw you right into this. Prepare, for your, prepare yourselves for the journey. And yeah, no voice acting. You know what? I distinctly remember this se section. This this was where the demo took place. You know what? They cleaned up this model well. Yes, that is the infamous castle of Uruk. Nobody knows what go goes on beyond those walls. At least, nobody alive. But I can clearly feel the evil nature of that monstrous building. Look, as you can see, the piercing fiery ray is active and that troubles me deeply. Legend tells us that it protects the castle and the surrounding area of Oryk with a formidable power. The, this area is full of traps and obstacles, but nothing as devastating as the ray. Beyond this point, my powers are useless. I'm afraid I can't accompany you any further. 
Now both of you must search out the magical Blade of Osiris. Only if you work together will you have a possibility of finding it. Good luck on your quest, my brave young adventurers. I think I can see something interesting in the rock structure over there. I'll go investigate it. You should check out this area. The guy just looks cocky. Of course, Sphinx looks copy, copy, uh, cocky as well. Alright. Can't do anything but jump. That tree's looking a little rough. Notice how the how Y on the top right display uh, display changes when you approach certain objects or items. You can press Y to quickly pick up rocks like this when you're close to them. Okay. Oh. Good to know, that's uh, actually dangerous. This geyser is inactive. It looks like it requires additional lava flow in order to blow. Okay. What's up, bird? Hey, Sphinx! I'm over here by the lava fall. Come on over. I need to show you something. Hi. Did you finish the funk? I did finish the funk. It was something. <laughs> is it funky? It was very funky. I had to go to easy mode to beat the last level, though, because oh, it was that hard. I haven't seen this game in so long. <laughs> yeah, you played it. I did, and then I sold it because I got scared. You got. Amy has a fear of mummies. I did have a fear of mummies. <laughs> Press and hold B for a longer period of time to jump further. I really liked his design. And, um. I remember I went to. No double jump. It was like a GameStop. And I and I was just kind of looking around, and the the uh, salesperson came up and was like, "So, is there anything I can help you find? What kind of stuff do you like?" <laughs> <laughs> mm, this is too high for you, isn't it? I don't understand why the master insisted on having you accompany me. You're just holding me back. I'm skillful enough to find the blade without your help. You'll need to figure out how to get up here yourself. I do not remember this at all. I remember this from the demo, but that's about it. I only remember like being inside the tombs. So, um, so I was like, well, I really like Mario and Zelda. I love being outside and trees and adventure, slight puzzles. I don't like platforming too much. Like, I basically said everything that I really liked, and I like cute designs and all that. And, and he was like, oh, you should try out this game. Because pretty much I played everything else <laughs> uh -huh. that he was going to re recommend to me. Actually, he also recommended, um, uh... Okami. Yeah, that was the other thing. Oh, there you go. Because I bought three things that day. I got Okami, I got this, and... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the rock, not me! Ah, you're far too scrawny. I'm starving, but not desperate enough to eat the likes of you. Too many clothes. If only I had a few coconuts. I haven't had coconut, uh, coconut in ages. Mmm, just thinking about them. Mmm, coconut. There was one other game. I think, um... Boom blocks or something? Oh yeah, and boom blocks is good. I don't know. He recommended a bunch of things based on what I told him. But I remember that day I got Sphinx and Okami. So, because as soon as I said I liked Zelda, yeah. he was like, "You've got to get Okami." <laughs> oh, I just pick go. it up. You got a coconut. Here's your coconut. Hey, you with the face paint? <laughs> what is that? I smell on you. Is that yes? Coconuts. Can I have some? Sure, you can have this one. Delicious, thanks. I can do with a few more like that. If you give me some more, I might be able to help you, of course. Uh, not a fan of the mummy movie, Belling. Uh, is that the one with Brendan Fraser? Yeah, you, I don't think you've seen no, it. No, I don't have any problems with that. It, it's not that I don't like mummies. That's not why I got scared in this game. Um, Poor snake fell out of the tree and died. I don't remember why I got scared. Maybe because it was in the dark, like... Area. It, it, the thing that freaks me out the most is being trapped. So maybe I felt claustrophobic. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. It was a while ago, and oh, I've worked. I, missed. I have worked on some of these issues since then. I mean, so. you got through Silent Hill, so. Yeah. 
The mummy did not. Yeah. Have oh. you gotten oh. control of the mummy yet? No. I think it's in there. In one of those things. I think you go in there or something. I don't know. I'll see it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Shaman did not enjoy. Enjoy what? Oh, I loved this game for uh, a while, but something happened and I had really bad nightmares, so um, I didn't have a lot of money back then, and I really wanted to play a different game. I think Mario Galaxy had just come out, so I tried to trade in a bunch of my stuff so I could play that. It wasn't that I hated the game or anything, it's just that since I got a nightmare from it, I, um, I traded it in. <laughs> So I did not hate this game. I, I quite enjoyed this game. <laughs> Why am I just dropping it? I need to. I'm pushing okay, the throw to, button. Um, you might have yeah. to move. No, I don't know. Okay, you only get one coconut per tree. I thought so, but. Hmm. I do not remember this part at all. Have you even been introduced to the mummy yet? No, you. I just literally started. Ah, there's the other one. Okay. There's our last coconut. What's the, uh, what's the story so far? Go to this monster place, find a sword of Osiris. That is all I've gotten. <laughs> Work yeah. together with that bird dude, but bird dude abandoned me already because I can't <laughs> get up there. We are. Give me as much trauma to <laughs> play Psychonauts. I don't know what that is. You'd like Psychonauts. You think so? That's a fun platformer. That's on my, that's on my request list. I think it's coming up soon. Right. I feel so much better. Just step onto my tongue and I can help you reach where you need to go. First choose the horizontal direction, then choose the vertical direction, and I will spit you into the position you have chosen. Choose carefully, though. If you tell me to spit you into the lava, I will do exactly as you say. Oh. Okay. The only the the thing I have a real phobia on is God. Like, so that's a little creepy. Oh god! Oh, oh. whoa! <laughs> nice. I had to aim myself. I was like, I am far too to the left. After this and Radiant Historia, I don't know how long Radiant Historia is. That was good, Derek. Hey, there he is. He didn't abandon me yet. I got him here at last. I didn't think he would make it. Your snail's pace has lost this precious time. Anyway, I have found the blood of Ra. Master Imhotep said it would uh, allow us to walk on flowing lava and, st and steam geysers. But it's impossible to get near it. I will need to find another solution. Plant things? You know, it's appropriate that I think about it that you got Sphinx, who is famously asked about puzzles. Um, yeah, is, like, Sphinx is all about solving, pu uh, like, posing riddles oh. in oh. ancient Egypt. What are you doing? Yeah. Solving puzzles <laughs> in this game. Radiant Astoria's 30s. I did get the remake, so I don't know if that makes it longer. There we go. You did it. I don't know why I didn't think of that solution before. <laughs> See, look at that cool design. I like it. It's a good design. You're probably just lucky. Or rather, I knew the solution. I was just simply toying, toying with you. Oh yeah, this guy's likable. <laughs> anyway, I'm going on ahead. Waiting for you is getting quite tiresome. He kind of gives me a Falco vibe. He's very Falco. What is with bird people being real, real jerks? I thought I did, but apparently I, may, I might not have actually. I don't know. There's no context thing. Yeah, like no confirmation. Okay, oh, there it is. is. Okay, now we're good. Need to wait it a bit. Time, okay. So you might want to hurry. Is it? I don't know. I feel like it would run out. I'm guessing this is the way I need to go. Why grab hold of objects, push, uh, use all oh, push or pull. Oh, wait, I think I know what I need to do in this case. Why not? I think you have to, yeah, maybe that's all. Wait. Can you pull it back? Oh, um, I, I need to just push it once. I was holding it. Oh. Ah, I need to pull it. I, okay. See, I needed to activate that. Did it activate still, or am I screwed? Uh, it, I think it's 
still a yeah, it's still activated. See. I still need to. I still need to get the other thing though. So. Oh, then you gotta get the. Do you need to go back? I need to go back to the guy that the tosses visor? you. Yeah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh. Just a little hot. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. I feel like there's better ways to aim. <laughs> Now we're good. I'd say shortcut, but that really wasn't a, a shortcut. Yeah, you just, but you need it for this. Whee! We made it! Oh, there's another one. <laughs> that little whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Does this bring back any memories? I think once you go inside, I'm pretty sure I bulldozed through this section really fast. <laughs> I must have. I'm trying to just. I need him not to see me, so. Oh. There we go. I, was, I saw that over there. I'm like, you know what? I bet that has something to do with something. Oh, can you smash it? There you go. I can. Oh, I think he's fully dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Interesting way to start a platformer, picking up rocks and throwing it at things. Yeah. There we go. My guess is you'll get better moves later. Oh, you I'm sure you do. Sphinx, over here. I think I may need you after all. Look, if you throw a rock at the animal animal warren over there, perhaps you'll forget something useful. What animal warren? <laughs> This looks like a PS2 game. I played PS2 games. That's a compliment. <laughs> All right, Seems we need like to, to set that tr free. Yeah. Okay. Good old rock. No, rock, nope. you failed me. Not this time. Rocky can't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the stakes. I don't think the stakes. We're gonna go over here and try this. <laughs> if you don't have enough room to throw, he just goes, uh. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Cash. Yep. Okay, I remember that. I remember those scarabs. Hmm. Very cute. Keyblade says you need to f throw a rock above a hold in order to get an animal to come out. That's the thing I was just pointing at, right? That yeah. That hole, you have to throw yeah. it to... I don't think... Oh! There it is. What well, is this, a weird little guy? Castle Sphinx, those monsters look pretty harmless, but they are highly explosive. You know what that means. When angry, they flash red and hurl themselves toward their enemy, exploding on contact. If you are quick on your feet, you can use them to your advantage by hurl uh, luring them toward an appropriate object. Yep, time to lure them over. Cool, there he's still like at the same spot. Oh god, another one. Yeah, once they turn red, it looks like they lock on. Oh cool, there's just an endless stream. You know, I should have imagined oh, no. that there'd be a bunch <laughs> of puzzles for a game called Sphinx. Over here, buddy. Almost. <laughs> Almost got me. Oh. oh. close. Hey, over here. Hey, dummy. Dummy. Hey, dummy. <laughs> There's another one. All right, you dummy. 
There it goes. Okay, hit the rope. I'll take it. I was hoping that was enough. <laughs> These sacred statues allow you to save your progress. If a save game was chosen, walk close and press uh, Y to leave a record in quest up to this point. There you go. There we go. First save point. Save a real, save a real. Rock and roll, Derek. It certainly did. Hey, Sphinx, up here. Come on, we must hurry. I'm going to need your help up here. Just jump against the wall and use L to climb up, down, left, and right. Climb slowly, move L lightly. Watch out for those spiders, though. They could give you a nasty bite if you're not careful. Yeah, that would be for a, uh, That would hurt. That would be a heck of a bite. That is, an, oh, yeah, that that is, a, that is a very interesting climb animation. That is way more involved than I ever thought it would be. I forgot about the they're, climb. They're trying to make it as smooth as possible. Oh, ancient Egyptian lasers. Of course. <laughs> what? <laughs> Over here, use the railing to cross that across. Oh, boy. Oh. Ow. Oh, I, saw that coming. I thought they'd give me a bit more um, warning. There you are. We're fine. <laughs> They've got their eye on you, Derek. You know, he's, he is running around barefoot. That would hurt. You build up resistance. In karate, we had to go barefoot so that we could uh, get tougher feet, actually. Well, what I mean more is like, I'm near lava. Oh. There's no way these yeah. rocks are not boiling hot. That's a good point. Oh, he's a demigod? This guy? Makes sense. At last, I found it. The ancient blade of Osiris. Look, it sits over there at that on that rock pinnacle. But how can we reach it? The blade of Osiris is now in sight, but I can see no way of getting to it. I'm sure we'll figure something out. He's just wearing foot-styled shoes. <laughs> exactly. Here's something I can pull. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Hmm. Thank you very much, Sphinx. Sphinx, you've been more helpful than I expected. Now I can get to the Blade of Osiris. He sounds like a bad guy. He does sound like he's going to become a bad guy, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, like, oh, thanks for your help. Oh. What's going on? Everything is trembling. Look, the ray, it's charging. Okay, I remember this. Oh, I think this does not bode well. Oh, wow, I thought he was going to die. Wait, wow, I was lucky. Oh, no, where is this thing going? Sphinx! Sphinx! Oh, I remember now. Oh, my gosh. I remember now. It's coming back to me. The trauma is returning. Who likes barbecue <laughs> chicken? Oh, my gosh. He's just an ordinary demi guy. <laughs> I honestly thought they were gonna outright kill him. Obviously, he's not fully dead yet, but <laughs> oh my goodness, it's still kind of funny. Wow, I can't believe that I like blocked this memory of Bird Dude dying. <laughs> no, not that. Um, you'll see. <laughs> Turns out that guy is the is the cursed mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Do anything with that. Looks like I'll have to just do the jumping. Lava fried turkey. You know, that <laughs> sounds pretty good. I don't know. If it's lava fried, would it be just. I guess like it would just be charred. Or whatever? Maybe it just sounds. Maybe just turkey sounds good. <laughs> Alright, I got a weapon! Ancient Egyptian lightsaber. Now you don't have to use rocks all the time. I know. 
Got the blade of Osiris. Look at that grin. The looks great, like he's mischievous. I know. The great god Osiris himself once wielded this powerful weapon. Press and hold A, hold a to perform a backhand sword slash. Press B <laughs> and then A to admit air to perform a high sword slash. The high sword slash is useful for striking targets with it, such as hanging lamps. What was the thing that uh, Shulk said? Backslash? Yeah, backslash. <laughs> backslash! You have found the blade of Osiris, but your actions have alerted those in the castle of Uruk. Do not worry about the guy, your friend being dead. Yeah. <laughs> Through those caves is a magical portal, ancient devices formerly used by the gods to travel between worlds. Many years ago, I had a portal amulet up on a high ledge on the exterior of the portal chamber. That amulet will allow you to return swiftly and safely to our temple. But you must hurry, Sphinx, before you suffer the same fate as Horus. Oh, glad we finally got his name. And After he died. <laughs> Good old That's Horus. That's a cool, uh, cool sword there. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Oh, uh, that stuff. There we go. He was a jerk anyway. <laughs> Not wrong. Uh, which way do I need to you go? You can run on lava right now, at least. I know, but oh, I don't know. Oh, it's running out, though. I'm trying to figure out which way to go. I guess just cross because we're stuck on this side. Well, get, yeah, probably come up with a plan first. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. We're just going back to where we go because we used the zip line to get over here, and that zip line won't take us oh, back, yeah, so right we just there. need to go. It's got to be that. Yep. Just enough time. Yep. How kind of them. Do I still have to throw rocks at trees in order to get things down? I don't know. But I think the other thing that I couldn't play is because I'm already starting to get dizzy. Camera's, the camera does feel a little... really stiff. I wonder if that's the main reason. I know for sure I got a nightmare at some point, but... I'm starting to wonder because I, I need to take a break <laughs> or I'm going to get the, sick. The camera is, yeah, very odd in how it moves. Anyway, thanks for letting me hang out for a little bit. Oh, I need to go back and up. Whoops. Of course. You're all amazing. I'm going to watch Derek play, but on a small, small screen from far away. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be lurking. You're always, always, always lurking. Later. Bye. Bye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Missed the jump and went into the lava. <laughs> there is such beauty walking away from me. <laughs> Everybody's saying bye and see you tonight for uh, Fire Emblem. Ah, here's our cave. And it's much easier to get around those things now. Probably still need rocks, though. Yeah. <laughs> Most ineffectual throw. Yeah. Oh, hey, health. Ow, I need health. Okay, we can attack trees. That's good. Spiders in a chest. Well, one of these things is good. The mysterious amulet. The strange symbols on this ancient artifact indicate transport to a mysterious location. He's pretty nasty for being like the first ones you fight. Well, I think he got left in the room. <laughs> I'm more of these guys. 
Ah, that's our purpose. The Eye of Repost. <laughs> I don't know fully my Egyptian lore, so... Oh, guess I need more than one. Where's my HP bar? It's the uh, thing that it, it's the onks at the ta uh, at the top. Do I need another one? Oh my god! I took a tower out. I thought something more significant would happen. Oh. Snake. Alright. Gotta say, that's a pretty cool enemy design. By the way, how is the sound for everybody? Is it uh, loud enough? Or is this too low? Sound is good, okay. Just saw the comment from my mom. Is mom still here? I don't see her. Man, lava. Sphinx is de deadly as enemy. I don't know what that was, but it's dead now. That makes me feel better. She did not improve of Friday Night Funkin'. I am not surprised. <laughs> I don't know if Amy approved of Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> Scarab. Still have no idea what we spend these on, but we got them. Look ominous. Did my mom not approve of God Hand? I highly doubt she did. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely like a I don't know why my, uh... I've been failing a lot of jumps. <laughs> Nothing else there. Oh, hey, light bridge. Oh, apparently this is where I'm supposed to go?
My greed. <laughs> My greed got to me. Alas, you are trapped here in the portal chamber and you do not have the correct portal amulet. We should be grateful that you are still alive. Unfortunately, the defense of the castle are simply too strong for us. You failed to collect the amulet that would send you home, but I see you found another myst mysterious amulet. I have no idea where it, will take, where it will take you, but it seems you have no choice. Step up to the magic circle in front of the portal guide and use the amulet. Sphinx, I only hope that it takes you to a safe destination. So we screwed up. Not really, though. We'll go ahead and save. Because I believe this is basically our excuse for, like, hey, this is World 1. Portal God acknowledges your offering and provide a transport to a mysterious location. Sphinx making an offering to a Sphinx. Appropriate. Good morning, Prince, and happy birthday. The entire palace is very busy preparing for your birthday ceremony. Prince, I spoke with Lady, Lady Nefertiti earlier. She requested you meet her in the courtyard this morning. I think this is going to be our mummy. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah, that's a pretty nice bed, honestly. Whoops. Oh, Prince, that was a nice fire pot. Sorry. Object this like this can be pushed and pulled. Press Y. We just learned this. What's in here? The Doomslayer, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining. Might as well get changed. Don't have the right key. Oh, she's cleaning it up. What a mess, please don't knock over any more prints. Well, no promises. An old amulet. Hmm, pink or blue? Oh, you love this game, Doom Slayer. That's cool. Object list like this can be pushed. Oh. I didn't realize I could. Aha! I don't know what the old amulets do, but let's explore. You know, I'm very tempted to knock down the rest of the stuff. Just because I feel like there's going to be a key in there. Oh no, another one. I'm so sorry. I'm so clumsy. Oh god. It's this goofy walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Nothing hidden. I made this poor girl work war for nothing. What a mess. Well, I guess I'll have to come back. Egyptian version of Shaggy. Alright, well. Let's see what's in here.
Lady Nefertiti, I am aware that Prince Tutankhamen has asked for your hand in marriage. As any astute man will tell you, the logical choice is not necessarily the wisest. A marriage with, with say, his brother Akin Akhenaten could have unexpected advantages. Oh, Ultra Warrior, thank you very much for the follow! And who knows what the future will bring? You should think carefully about that, Nefertiti. And Doomslayer, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> this guy seems like such a dork. Happy birthday, Prince. Ah. Oh, this guy's... Woman? Whatever. My favorite nephew has come to see his favorite aunt. Okay, woman. Happy birthday. My dear, you are going very fast. Oh, I see you found some old amulets. Nobody really cares about them these days, but I have been searching for them lately. The whole collection is scattered throughout the palace, and Akhenaten has ordered me to collect them. He wants to store the collection in the treasure room. Could you please find the amulets for me, my dear nephew? I'm far too old to be hunting the palace for them. Sure. Bless you, my dear. Thank you for helping your dear aunt. Good morning, Prince. Your brother seems very busy redecorating the palace for the ceremony. there. Oh! Well, that was unexpected. I thought they were all taken care of. At least this one has been blocked off. Well, I don't want it blocked off. I want to... Go in. Oh well. I guess we go this way since it's open. Good morning, Prince, and happy birthday. Lady Nefertiti was looking for you. She said it was very important and wants to meet your wants you to meet her in the courtyard before you go to the state rooms. Alright, let's go to the courtyard. Unfortunately, we have the courtyard key. Convenient. The big key. Ah, Prince, I see you're very nicely attired today. As always, your taste is impeccable. Thanks. Oh, look. Eventually, I'll find something in these pots. Ah. Hey, Nefertiti. Tutton Common, at last you are here. There's an important letter here I have to read. Can you get it before someone else finds it? I tried it to get it, but a gust of wind carried away. Now it's right up there at the foot of that statue. Please hurry. Just double checking to see if there's anything around, but nope, we gotta just climb up here. You can sneak across some narrow ledges. Approach the fence and press Y to move against it. Once against the fence, use L to move left or right. We're sneak. Well, it's a shame we're not a king, or else we could, so we could be the sneak king. <laughs>
I will break as many pots, pots as I need to in order to get you, bird. Oh, I didn't realize I could push these. Interesting. I can use this to jump over, theoretically. Ah, I'm after you, bird. Oh, I can't pull those. There we go. Wonderful! You got it! I need to talk to you about this letter, but not here. Someone might be listening. Meet me outside the palace later. There are some things you need that you need to know. And please, my dear Tutankhamun, watch your back. You just always seem so put upon. I wonder if I should go back to my room and try to see if I can open things. Since I know I can move pots now. Okay, it was just those. Impressive that the pot stays broken and the, the other things stay moved. we go. Many happy returns, my dear brother. I see you're finally awake. Predictably late as usual. Oh yeah, this guy's totally on the up and up. Everyone is busy preparing for your birthday. It's strange. I don't recall such excitement on my birthday. Maybe it's because I'm a prick. <laughs> The treasure room. The sarcophagus is locked. It also seems really shocked. Eh, we'll take the left door first. Neat. Doesn't matter. So many wardrobes. Ah, the vases, please don't stand on the table, Prince. I'm a bit busy with the table arrangements at the moment, Prince. You'll have to entertain yourself for a while. But there might be something inside the vases. Another amulet. Sorry. Aha. Done pretty well at finding all these amulets. Think. 
Ooh. Hello, secret. I'm guessing this is dear old dad. Prince, I've heard rumors concerning palace security. I requested strengthening the guard, but your brother said he would he would handle it. Oh yeah, because he is totally trustworthy. What's in here? Prince? Prince, don't go in there. It's not safe. Screw you. It's my birthday. We can crawl under here. The tutorials are getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, definitely atmospheric music. I don't know, the more... I, I think my issue when I first played this is I was expecting a platformer. This is not a platformer. This is a, uh... Akintaten. Ak Akinaten. Nefertiti must have the letter. I had it before I talked to her. Hmm? Hmm, this is getting risky. We need to accelerate our plans. Are the sarcophagi guy in place? Yes, sir. Everything is going in pl as planned. I'm going to leave a spare sarcophagus, sarcophagus key here in case anything happens to the others. My little brother is going to get an unexpected birthday surprise this year. A very unexpected surprise, sir. Let's loudly talk about our conversation. This party is going to be the best this palace has ever seen. Well, that don't sound good. Can't open that. No big deal. Figured not, but it was worth a shot. But yeah, I needed to go... Uh, I, I should have expected something more like um, a Zelda than a platformer. There's platforming, but not a platformer. Must be able to get this later. This it feels like this is gonna be like one big dungeon for uh, the prince to explore. Prince, you never listen to me. You can't risk yourself want wandering around these dangerous passages. They are so old that they could collapse at any moment. Yeah, yeah. Locked. Locked. Well, let's try the sarcophagus key. The fact that the sarcophagus's eyes move is weird. And mouth. That's a little disturbing. We're teleporting. <laughs> Smash Man, how's the game so far? Um, it's it's good. I went in, again. I went in expecting um a platformer. This is definitely more of a uh, a Zelda. He's so lanky and floppy.
there's a lot of old amulets to find. Jump down from a high bit? I wouldn't that kill me? Oh, for the lulls. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, you can't die as him? I didn't know that. There we are. Do it. Let me let me try this sarcophagi and then we'll I'll do it. Just so I can fully explore. Alright, here we go. For the lulls! <laughs> I'm okay. It's only a minor concussion, people. We're fine. Those sarcophagi freak me out. He's like if Guybrush Threepwood were an Egyptian. <laughs> a good way to put that. I guess we'll take this for now. Man, how many of these things are there? Alright, hold to get out. Down we go! Ow. Back in here, what was the point of that, I wonder? Well, I guess let's just try to leave and see what happens. Yeah, I know there's, I know there's a sarcophagus over here, that's why I wanted to go see. Hello. Uh, the, the mouths freak me out more. Oh, uh, hey. Finally got on this end. Oh, please be a dresser key. Hey, a wardrobe key. That makes me happy. Oh. You know, this seems like a problem that, uh... My bedroom could be entered like this. Bit of a safety concern. I feel like I'm about to get assassinated. <laughs> oh, they're going back that way. <laughs> what a thing to do on your birthday.
He's so weird and floppy. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Origins before Assassin's Creed Origins. I yeah, the cartooniness of the animations are great. Ooh, it's a little worried at first. Whoops, not what I meant to do. I might like this guy more than Sphinx. <laughs> I thought I'd grab onto the ledge. I did not grab onto the ledge. Where's his little fall, like, oof thing? <laughs> That's what should have happened. I love Prince of Persia Saints of Time, and I'll actually defend... Yeah, I should have snuck. I, I'll actually defend the, the uh, Prince of Persia with Nolan North and, like, very little combat. I, I really enjoyed that one. Never got its sequel, but uh, it is what it is. Other people did not agree with me. What's up, Dad? Prince, what is going on? I never thought there was a secret door in such a place. I'm worried about your safety, wandering around those dangerous places. I'm still assuming he's my father. He might just be an advisor. Oh, it's right out here. Prince, I've heard rumors concerning palace security. I request... Uh, okay. Go visit the ant. I'm like, where did I... Hmm. So I thought this was going to be some sort of long-form quest. Ah. <laughs> oh, splendid. That's all the old am amulets returned. You are too kind to me. Should have said that there were eight. If you don't mind, my dear, one last favor. Can you leave them in the treasure room? I'm too tired to walk there myself. Yeah, I'm starting to trust good old, good old auntie. It's going to be in the treasure room. <laughs> Prince, something terrible has happened. The guards have found the main door to the treasure room broken down and all of the arcs are empty. The only thing that we found is an odd sarcophagus in the room. Please don't touch it. It is obviously something related to the robbery. I have tried to inform your brother Akhenaten, uh, but I can't find him anywhere. All of our arcs, arcs of the Coven are gone. Well, time to disobey orders. I want you all to be ready to use the warping sarcophagi to enter the palace when the party begins. We must overrun the palace quickly. This guy's has some skin issues. Tonight, the throne will finally be mine. Ah, my dear brother, what a pleasant, su pleasant surprise. And after I had prepared such a wonderful party for you tonight. 
However, you're obviously too impatient to wait and you want to want your present now. Guards, seize him. Well, that was dumb of us. Things gets here is like, man, it feels like we've been teleporting for like 20 minutes. Let's save. I'm hanging, buddy. Let's see, that way or this way? I'm gonna go this way. Oh god! Not that way, got it. That way is bad. Good to know. <laughs> that was a quick interlude. <laughs> Ruh -roh. You know, that's terrifying. Oh god, she's he's making her watch. Uh, we're gonna have to collect all of his body parts. Oh, th this part gave you a nightmare. I can see that. At least it looks like they didn't actually kill him. It looks more like they're just actually cursing him and you gotta get the parts back in order to, uh... reconstruct them. You know, like Resident Evil 8. <laughs> Way better, right? Just like the myths of Osiris? I don't really know the myths of Osiris that well. Here are Chaos, Chaos Chow saying this is a, a hidden gem. I've heard that. From quite a few people. Alright, we switched them. That's good. Recess for an item of some kind. I feel like I missed something. Oh. Thank you, Keyblade. I, I just, for whatever reason, I just didn't assume that cages could be interacted with. Oh, God. <laughs> In Egyptian mythology, Set murders Osiris and cuts his body into pieces. Isis has to gather the pieces to resurrect him. Basically the world's first JRPG uh, quest. Or uh, Simon's quest. <laughs> Kinda. I basically just forced myself to do that whole sequence twice, but oh well. Bolster, thank you very, uh, thank you for very much for the first time chat. Welcome.
I was gonna say, that looks like something can happen. Alright, that's one glyph key. There we go. You hang out there. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll actually see the curse, the beginning of the, the curse mummy actually make an appearance. <laughs> No fall damage. <laughs> so it seems like you solve puzzles and fight as uh, Sphinx and you platform as the cursed mummy. That's interesting. Cross. That feels like a puzzle. That's how you find out how to do it. <laughs> I was just like, okay, it was only four, so... Okay, I did it? What am I missing here? Oh. You just need to strike it. Okay. <laughs> eh. Can't reach. Thank you. It's so nice when somebody gives you a caged corpse. You really should just say thank you. Alright, I guess because... Okay, just as long as you've done it once. Oh yeah, it was just basically Simon. Yep, not getting through that yet. <laughs> Back we go. So Simon was a is actually a game. Uh, Simon says, where it's like, red, blue, red, you hit red, blue, red, blue, yellow, and it just keeps extending the, uh, pattern further and further as you play. 
It's a, it's a time waster. Something to entertain kids before video games. Hello, Kabama Pones. Welcome. Not going to be going for too much longer. Almost at the 4 o'clock, and I still got a bunch, bunch of writing to do for the Xenoblade analysis. To put some context in that, I've written five pages, and I've not, I can't even tell you how many notes I've actually gotten through. First three pages weren't even really involved with no, my notes. They were just an observation, research, and going through it. So, yeah, that, uh, that analysis is going to be a long one. At least, I'm, I'm going to guess at least 30 minutes. That's my goal for today, is to try to finish that script. See, he's not dead. He just got turned into a mummy. I think. Well, you know, it's the kitty okay version of doing this. Wait a second. I sense something. Sir, there is an intruder in the building. <laughs> what? Destroy him. I cannot... He cannot interrupt the ceremony. Forsaken spirits of this building, wake up. Arise and kill the intruder. He's not dead. He's just a corpse. Exactly. That guy's just all smiles. Thing's a little nasty sucker, isn't it? Oh, cool, they're waking up now. Ooh, we're getting into the more adventurous music. It is nice that you can keep hitting him while they're on the ground. I appreciate that. Tossing these skeletal fools around. I was gonna say, I thought there was one up there. Yeah, the musical beats for the attacks uh, does remind me a lot of uh, Wind Waker. See, so your friend is only mostly dead. Now there's a difference between all dead and mostly dead. Exactly. Ooh, the shield of Osiris. Magical shield was used in battle in a, by the great god Osiris himself. You can use the shield to protect yourself from many, many types of enemy attacks and other hazards. To equip, use the D-pad to select the item. Then press the button you want to assign the item to. Once assigned, to press and hold the appropriate button to defend yourself. While defending yourself, use L to aim the shield. Does it make sense to just equip it to R? We rave. Oh, 
I still need to show a- Amy uh, that movie, uh, Hero Chaos Shall. She's never seen Princess uh, the Princess Bride, and you know, that's that's my fault. Couple of Xenogears references in uh, th the trailer. I hmm. I've not personally found them, but it's also been literal years since I've played Xenogears. I really enjoyed it at the time, but it's just you know, just haven't gone back to it. That'd be a fun one to go back to and show everybody, like, who here's... Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was closer than it actually was. No, don't move, 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 don't move. I'm gonna jump for it. I ah, didn't make it. <laughs> but yeah, who here has actually experienced Xenogears? Fall 56, owns it on PS3, plan to play it soon. Brian. Hero Care shall have. Yeah, I have the original PS1 version, so. And I've only, I actually have never finished the Zeno Saga series. That's something we could eventually do on here for my own choice of games. Play through Xenogears and the Xenosaga games. I own them all, I just never finished them. Since Valentine's Day is coming, I guess it was a good thing you got to stream Friday, Friday Night Funkin' for it. Yeah, it's actually pretty good as a uh, Valentine's Day game. Why don't you come over here and throw that axe at me? Well, that didn't work out. Come over here. Would I rap battle for Amy? Well... That is not playing to my strengths. She would, uh... She would be in trouble. <laughs> Alright. We'll get to the, uh... Ne next save point is where we'll stop. <laughs> Gotta love how we just dis accidentally disrupted the ceremony. What happened? Curses! Now we will have to start again. Look, there's the saboteur who ruined the ceremony. Mm -hmm. You fool! Deactivate the magical device. Can't you see it's going to explode? <laughs> it's sucking us in! No! And there go all of the mummy's parts. Ugh. <laughs> Ow! Jeez! There we go. So the bad guys are gone and uh, I notice you're single. <laughs> oh, thank you for saving me. I'm eternally grateful. But now my beloved Tut is dead. How can I live without him? This vase is all that remains of him. I'm sure that part of his soul is inside. 
I want you to take it. Your heroic actions assure me that you might be the one to bring him back. Canopic Vase. Please, find him and bring him back to me. Oh, Tut, why did they do this to you? Before you go, take this. It's an amulet that Tut gave to me. He was fascinated by it, but I don't know why. To me, it's just an amulet. Sphinx, you must meet with me in Heliopolis as soon as possible. These events are clear evidence that something extremely sinister is taking place. The forces at work during the ceremony were far too powerful and demonic for my liking. We must find the source of this power before it grows to be a real menace. With that portal amulet, you can use the portal in the entrance to leave this place. Do not worry about Nefertiti. I will find a way to help her escape from this wretched place. I want you to take this gold ankh. It will help you face the challenges you will inevitably face on your journey. Good luck, Sphinx. You got the Abydos am amulet. The oceanic symbols on this ancient artifact indicate transport to Abydos. Ah, oh, sweet. Increased our max health. Not too shabby. So I will say one thing I think this game really needs. Um, a personality for... For, uh... Sphinx here. He, uh... I don't know. I this this doesn't quite feel like a like I, I know they're going for the Zelda vibe with it, but Sphinx I feel like needs a personality more than uh, Link does. But yeah, that's actually a pretty good spot to save at. Next time we will jump into Abydos. <laughs> Oh, there's 400 gold scarabs. So I guess they're collectibles? Interesting. Cool. Yeah. It's 2003. That is true. Oh, 400 is my max right now. It's, it's still currency. I see. Well, either way, uh, yeah, we had a good time today. Finished up um, Friday Night Funkin', and uh, that you know that was a good time, and got started on our new game, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, which I believe was a good twelve hour or so game. So it's probably going to last about as long as God Hand did, and uh, yeah, it's good to get it's good it's good to finally be cranking through these game requests. Really good time. Of course, uh, tomorrow we'll be back with another game request as uh, we continue on with Devil Survivor Two. And uh, finish up uh, Tuesday on that and probably start Wednesday. Uh, feels like we're making pr pretty decent progress in that. Um, and uh, Tuesday will be the final... Even though it's Valentine's Day, don't worry, I got plans. Even though it's Tuesday... Uh, va actually, Monday's Valentine's Day. Never mind, Tuesday's good. Either way, Tuesday will be the end of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, pretty sure. And also the end of... Uh, Tuesday streams. We'll be going down to just two streams a, a week uh, just because more time to get stuff done for GVG. And uh, yeah, might be able to come back. Maybe I can do late night streams at some point or something like that. But just for now, I need to, I, I want to focus on getting GVG stuff done. Uh, you know, John, John's back. John's back doing great stuff for the channel. I want to have good stuff for the channel as well. So yeah, want to do that. So, yeah, thank you all so much. Uh, we'll be back, of course, for more Sphinx on s next Saturday. Uh, and hopefully all of you can make it back here for that as well. Let's take a look at who we can raid in the meantime. Uh, nobody I'm I'm following. Any suggestions to anybody from anybody else? Oh, as for, uh, as for hashtag, only mostly dead. <laughs> For our hashtag, but we do need somebody to um, to raid. If anybody has any suggestions, 
Yink TM. I have never heard of them. Yink. Ah, playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. You know what? That's pretty good. That's a good one. Let's do it. Let's do only mostly de dead. All right. Go ahead and start that raid. Again, thank you all so much for uh, joining me. Really had a lot of fun. Hopefully all of you did as well. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, for Devil Survivor 2. Till then, everyone. Bye.